friends. Um, all right, today's tutor tutorial is on how to use um, your diffuser, roller bottles, spray bottles, and the veggie capsules. So um, just some um, simple things to get started with your oil kit. If you haven't already started using your diffuser, um, you'll find this in your kit. Um, if you haven't got one already, I highly recommend getting either one from doTERRA, which I find to be the best quality, or you can also find uh, a few um, good, decent ones on Amazon. Um, so when you get your doTERRA diffuser, um, make sure to look inside and take out anything that's in there. Um, what this should look like, if you have the petal diffuser, you'll see, is all you'll see is the, is the metal uh, circle on the bottom. Um, to use your diffuser, um, depending on your size of your room, I recommend between three and eight drops. So I'm in a smaller room right now, I would probably use about three drops, three to four drops in here. In a large room, I'd use more oil. And then once you get your desired oils, and feel free to mix and match, so you don't have to stick to just one oil. That's a common question I get. You could put, um, you know, a combination of, of three oils. So if I want to do peppermint and wild orange, I might do two drops of peppermint, one drop of wild orange. Um, one of my favorites to mix is balance and serenity. So I might do if it's in my larger kitchen area, it's kind of open. I'll do, you know, three or four of each of those in the diffuser. Um, then what you'll want to do is just fill it up with water to this line. Um, I A lot of things will say to use um, distilled water, which you can totally do. And the reason for that is because distilled water is going to get the least amount of impurities in the air. Um, I have pretty good water here in Colorado, um, but I like to kind of go in between. I don't use tap water typically. I typically use... Um, the filtered water from the refrigerator, but tap water is fine too. You just know that you might have to clean your diffuser a little more often, or um, you know, you just might get some of that water in the air, which for uh, a lot of us isn't a problem. So just fill it up to here, put on the tap, you'll plug it in right here, and then just push the miss button. With the pedal diffuser, if you've got the older one, it's got a one hour, two hour, four hour setting. So just pick the desired. On the newer ones, um, they changed it to, I think it's two, two, two five, and 10. Um, whatever it is, the 10 hour setting is five minutes on, five minutes off. So really cool. Um, I have that, the Lumo diffuser. Um, this is an old one, so I don't have that cool feature on here, but that's really good for using at nighttime. So just push the miss button to the desired time amount that you want, and then you can push the light button to um, turn the light off or to keep it on. So that's how to use your diffuser. Um, using aromatically is a great way to refresh in the air, make things smell good, but it's also a very powerful way to, um, to impact your emotions. So um, that's how to use a diffuser. Next, um, roller bottles. Um, so um, I like to buy these from doTERRA. Um, I have found that um, other roller bottles that I've bought in from other places um, don't, oh, this is what it um, aren't as, sometimes the balls come out um, easily. What you'll see, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm just looking to see if I have another one. So this is one that I bought off of a different site. And so what I've found is that with like the plastic balls um, are ones that aren't from doTERRA, they don't have this extra piece on here. And so sometimes the balls will fall out. And then you kind of, like you can have your oil, your rollers leak or the, the um, it comes out too fast, you'll get too much. And so I really like the ones that doTERRA has. They're a little more, um, they cost a little bit more, but I feel like they're worth it. But if you want to go the less expensive route or of the cheaper way, um, then you can best buy on Amazon, uh, Aroma Tools, or Oil Life, any of the oil accessory sites. So um, to fill your roller bottle, and so you would do this if you want to make a specific blend, um, if you want to use it on kids, um, more on diluting in the links below. Um, but the rule of thumb is, you know, for, for me, um, to make a roller for myself, 
Um, I don't technically need to dilute this, um, but typically the rule I sit to is like, if I'm gonna dilute and make a roller, then I'll do about um, 20 to 30% of the roller bottle will be oils, and then the rest will be a fractionated coconut oil or some sort of carrier oil. And again, the links below will have more information on like um, different carrier oils and why we dilute. I'm not gonna go into that now. For kids, um, you wanna do one drop per their age up to when they're about the size of an adult. Um, the reason we dilute with kids is because they are smaller and um, their body can't metabolize as much oils as we can as an adult. So if you've got a 10 year old, but he's this, you know, bigger than me, um, then he can use the oils the same way I would. So it really depends on their size. I've got a newborn, so I'm doing one drop of oil and the rest of this is a carry oil. That's how powerful these oils are. And so um, I've got my two year old, so I might do three drops of oil and then the rest carry oil. Um, some of the, le the less, uh, the more, um, what's the word? The ones that aren't as intense, like lavender, sometimes I'll do more. Like maybe I'll do 10 drops of lavender in here. Um, and then the rest with coconut, fractionated coconut oil. In any case, um, how you do that is so this is my empty roller that I got from doTERRA. It's already got the top off of it. And so what I would do is I would just take my roller bottle and I just like to like hold it over the top and just count, um, you know, the number of drops. To put the fraction of coconut oil in it, um, the one from doTERRA comes with a screw top. And so I find it gets a little bit messy to put the oil in this way. And so things that you can do instead is I bought this little pump, doTERRA sells these separately, and then I just put it inside the roller bottle and I pump it, um, pump it in. You can also purchase, I don't know that I have any with me, but little pipettes where you can extract the oil out and then squeeze them in. But, um, but yeah, just that's how you would do the, the roller bottle. If after you've put the top on here, um, I like to use a lot of the oil sites and doTERRA has this, it's called uh, some sort of key, but you just like push it underneath the lid and pull it off. And if you want to use it also, you can use it to push on the top. So you don't have to have this, but it comes in real handy and a lot of times they're, they're really inexpensive. So I think it's called a, I don't know what it's called, but you can find it on the doTERRA accessory area. Um, along the lines of roller bottles, um, something I like to do, a trick, is anytime I go through a bottle of doTERRA essential oil, I will keep it. I keep them kind of stored away, and then every like six months to a year, um, I clean them all out, and then I reuse them. So different ways to reuse them is you can buy these roller tops that fit into these bottles. So if you search um, for 5 ml or 15 ml roller tops, you'll find these. Um, and then I've got a roller and I've just reused a bottle instead of having to go and purchase a roller bottle. So a great way to do it. You can also buy um, spray tops. So this is an old um, essential oil bottle. I cleaned it, took off the label, and then this is what I purchased. I just purchased this and it goes right on top of an old bottle. Um, if you don't have those and you wanna make a spray, um, you can buy these. They come in all kinds of different sizes. This one I think is four ounces. And so to do your spray bottles, um, you just put the desired amount of oil into the spray bottle um, and then um, fill it with water um, or witch hazel or vinegar or whatever you're desired. So, or whatever you're deciding to use it for. If it's just like a spray to use in a room, like I've got a couple of bathroom sprays, um, you could put just some water in it. Um, or if you're wanting it to linger in the air a little bit longer, just add some um, witch hazel. Um, if you're wanting to do a cleaning spray, my favorite to add is water and vinegar and then some On Guard. So um, spray bottles are great to have on hand. Um, so that is how you 
do the spray bottle. And last but not least, um, a great way to take oils internally is to use, um, you can either just put it under your tongue, but some people don't like the taste of the oils that they're taking internally. And so doTERRA sells um, these empty veggie caps. So this bottle right here comes with um, 160 veggie caps that are empty and um, they, this container is like four dollars so it's very affordable and then what you do is with the cap you oh man is you just open it up so it just comes apart and then you just take your oil and you put it um, into the cap and then you close it and then you take it so super simple some people will add some oil like a fraction of coconut oil um, to the veggie cap and then take it that way um, just to help with like burping up the oils um, but I just would just typically just do the essential oil and then take it um, I have tried to make a batch of these to store and take like so that I have multiples for like a week's worth but um, sometimes they leak and um, doesn't work out great so I typically, when I use the veggie caps, I do it on a day per day basis. So that's a couple of ways to use some of the accessories and different items to use your essential oils. Um, stay tuned for more um, FAQs for getting started with your kit.